This is your daily dose of medicine, and in this video, we're going to talk about oral candidiasis. Candida is a normal organism in your mouth, but sometimes it can overgrow and cause symptoms. Trush is caused by the overgrowth of candida. It also can cause diaper rash in infants or vaginal yeast infections in women. While trash can affect anyone, babies under one month old, toddlers, older adults, and people with weakened immune system are at more risk. But trash and esophagus is one of the more common infections in people with HIV and AIDS. You can have pain or difficulty swallowing or a feeling that food gets stuck in the throat or a mid chest area, fewer if the infection spreads beyond esophagus. And medications that can make yeast flourish and cause infection include corticosteroids, which is used in asthma, antibiotics, birth control pills. Candida infection is more likely to develop with uncontrolled diabetes, HIV infection, cancer, dry mouth, pregnancy because of the hormonal changes that occur with pregnancy, smoking, wearing dentures that don't fit well. Trush usually develops suddenly a common sign is the presence of those creamy, white, slightly raised lesions in your mouth, usually on your tongue or inner cheeks. Redness and soreness inside and at the corners of your mouth can be seen, loss of ability to taste, and cuttony feeling in your mouth also can be seen. And also when Breastfeeding infants have trash, they can pass it to their mother's breast and cause red and sensitive cracks or itchy nipples, shiny or flaky skin on the areola, the area around the nipple, painful nursing or painful nipples between feedings, lastly stabbing pains deeper in the breast. Trush is uncommon in healthy older children, teenagers, and adults, so if trush develops, see your doctor to determine if further evaluation is needed to check for an underlying medical condition or other cause. And to prevent oral trush, you can do these things. First of all, follow good oral hygiene practices. Avoid certain mouth washes or sprays to do that talk to your dentist or doctor about which ones are safe to use you should see your dentist regularly this is especially important if you have diabetes or wear dentures you should limit the amount of sugar and yeast containing food you eat for example bread beer and wine you should Quit smoking. Treat a vaginal yeast infections as soon as possible. And you should treat dry mouth. Ask your doctor about ways to avoid or treat your dry mouth. The treatment for mild to moderate cases in the mouth or throat is usually an antifungal medicine applied to the inside of the mouth for 7 to 14 days. These medications include clotrimazole, miconazole, or nestatin. For severe infections, the most common treatment is fluconazole, which is an antifungal medication taken by mouth or through a vein. The patient does not get better after taking fluconazole. Healthcare providers may prescribe a different antifungal. And lastly, the treatment for candidiasis and esophagus, which we said earlier, that it's seen in patients with HIV and AIDS commonly, is usually also fluconazole. Thanks for watching. 
don't forget to watch our early warning signs of HIV video and see you on the next video.